Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy. I'm a first year fourth grade teacher. Today is classroom setup day six. I'm headed over to Michael's first so I can get some stickers for my um, library books and then I'm gonna get some matte spray paint. So let's go. Hey guys, I just had lunch here, um, but I went to Michael's and I got a few different things. I got this white banner because I think it would go really well on my our classroom family and I was just gonna either paint the letters on there or I actually got these cutout letters because I was tired of cutting out all the different letters and laminating them so I'm actually gonna use these for my bulletin boards I think I got these little clips for my bulletin board for mrs. Kellogg's nook like for the pictures they're much smaller so I think it'll be much better the matte spray paint so excited for this and then these are the stickers that I found for my classroom library I don't like that it's red but it's the only one that I could find that was small enough and easy to read so we're gonna work with these my birthday card months for my birthday wall. I think these turned out really good. I just took these sheets, cut them in half, and these are the papers that I actually found in my cabinets up there. And then I just used some stickers that I got from Michaels to add onto the months. And then I found some notebook paper in the shelf as well. And I'm gonna use these for my I can statements. I think it's perfect because it's lined, so it's easy for me to write on and erase and everything. So, yay. what it's looking like now I'm probably gonna go in with that matte spray paint just so there's not a glare but I think it looks really cute success how this is looking as you can tell I really love scrapbook paper especially printed ones but my plan for this is that each student would get their own scrapbook piece of paper they could design it if they wanted to but um, I was hoping that they would bring in pictures and each student at the school is one-to-one -one iPad so I would just have them go home take pictures of anything that they loved so that could be their stuffed animal that could be their family member friends pet whatever it is they can bring it in and put it on this wall kind of as a reminder um, that someone is there with them at school, they're safe at school. The power just went off at the school because of the storm. I don't know what to do. Good morning, guys. If you didn't see in the last clip, I had to leave the school pretty early because of the power outage. There was a pretty big storm and um, everybody was leaving. It was hailing and so it wasn't a super good time. But I'm back again today for classroom setup day seven. So I'm going to combine the two videos. Um, so yeah, come along with me. classroom jobs. I just added some clothespins where I'll add their numbers and for some of them you can see that I added two clothespins because there'll be more than one. Um, I don't know if I can use all of these just because of COVID and everything so we'll see how it turns out. I didn't get to show my update from yesterday but I added three more um, scrapbook pieces of paper on that side just in case I had 18 kids. 
I'm not loving the We Are Family banner. It looks really plain, so I might go in and paint the background and then add the letters back on. these dry I'm going to paint another banner that I have which is that one up there it says Miss Kellogg or it did but the stickers didn't stay on so I'm gonna paint that maybe with black and see if it stays on better messy but I think that it's pretty clear it's a dark color so everyone will be able to see it and then I just painted these borders they're almost dry and then I'll go in and add my little bulletin board letters to those that say we are family and I'm thinking about using these colorful stickers to write the family part so it kind of sticks out guys just saw me clean out and organize all the little supplies that I had like pencils erasers things like that um, I'm gonna store those away because since we can't share supplies anyway so the next task is going to unbox all of my curriculum and put those in those drawers up top up a lot of things but I think it's looking a lot better now those are the things that I painted on there and let's see I just opened this up I got this off of my Amazon wish list and it's a giant giant like banner with a bunch of flags on it and I think that'll go really well panning across the room like that but I think this is a task that I need help with so I'm just gonna wait on this for now but I love that um, if any of my students are from any of these countries that they are represented so love this it's on Amazon as well okay so here is what I've done so far I have my family board up this is where I'm thinking I'm gonna have my safe seat just because it's kind of closed off and um, it's like a smaller space but I haven't really thought that far yet um, I just went and put the rest of my curriculum on my shelf that I have. Oh, and I hung up my banner that says Miss Kellogg that I just painted. Let's see. Reminders, I hung up one of the clips there. And I mostly worked on this section here. So I hung up my cactus um, poster right there and then I'm gonna put some like hand washing reminders right here. So that's why I left that little space. My I can statement is pretty much done. I might go in at Target and just get the rest of the pencil water so it doesn't look so strange, but there's that. And then for this, I decided to just put anchor paper there. It'll be easy to access 
and out of the way. Any students need to refer to the anchor charts, it'll be there. Here's my classroom jobs. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've done for the past two days. Lots of cutting out things, but um, here's a small overview. thank you so much for watching classroom day six and seven um, the rest of the week we are doing training so I won't be really in my classroom setting things up but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and stay tuned for more bye